Welcome to Charles Today. My name is David Linton and today's edition for Wednesday the 27th of June comes to you from London and the dollar is still just struggling to get back into bullish territory but uh, giving it a go. We, the uh, prices through uh, the lagging line has work to do but uh, we, are, we do seem to be just holding on to this uh, medium term trend so uh, we wouldn't be surprised to see dollar strength returning in the next few days. Euro also therefore just breaking down on that dollar strength against the dollar so um, we're just seeing a euro fairly flat dollar um, just waiting to break against the yen dollar is actually just sinking a bit lower again but um, trying to make this transition as well so uh, it's just pausing for breath all around looking at uh, sterling uh, already starting to move lower against the dollar uh, and coming back to test these uh, 131 128 level so um, we will we'll see whether we get there uh, against the euro sterling is weaker against the Swiss franc sterling is weaker against the Aussie dollar uh, sterling is a little bit stronger um, just on Aussie dollar weakness Bitcoin has uh, struggled to break into um, short-term uh, strength and we are still just bearish medium and long term on Bitcoin um, looking at US uh, indices last night the stock indices uh, the S&P was up slightly but still bearish below the cloud uh, the Nasdaq, which had a terrible day the day before, um, down over two percent, uh, was recovered as some of that up point four percent, but still bearish on that short-term chart. Uh, as is the Dow, um, belly changed yesterday and starting to look a bit worrying on the medium-term chart. And the Russell 2000 still looking very strong on the medium and long-term charts, but the short-term chart we have seen that sell off. And if we go lower, that's a seven percent downside target on the uh, Russell. Uh, looking at um, the futures, <coughs> we're down about a third of a percent this morning on the S&P future. The Nasdaq E-mini <coughs> is down over half a percent. does suggest U.S. markets will actually open lower. U.K. market is uh, struggling short-term, bearish below the cloud. Uh, U.K. mid-caps are also starting to just push lower there, so that's also quite worrying uh, for U.K. stocks. Uh, the DAX is lower, German political worries starting to weigh heavily on the uh, German market and we are just seeing here the medium term chart is just about to turn bearish on the uh, Ichimoku cloud as is Paris. We're also seeing uh, a push lower here and a downside target of 4%. So the market's all looking uh, fairly uh, ripe for further falls. Looking at uh, Tokyo, we're bearish below the cloud. We weren't down substantially overnight. Uh, Hong Kong was and we are really starting to look quite worrying on this market and the uh, Chinese market also pushing lower down and further 1% activating this downside target to 4% uh, um, lower so that's uh, really quite key there and if we look at the uh, the medium term targets we've got targets here that are not quite reached a further 1, 1.6% to go but it does look like uh, the Chinese market if, and if we do fall below this uh, level here then um, we could see substantial falls that's probably still the biggest risk to global stock markets looking at the Sensex we're just pushing below the cloud on the short term chart so that's just turning very short term and the Aussie market actually holding its gains Brent crude uh, is up this morning uh, so we are seeing the sentiment uh, improving here a uh, big jump yesterday and we have activated another upside target to uh, $80.80 .80, so 5% upside potential so it does look like we will push higher back to that $80 mark uh, WTI also jumped of course and we're seeing uh, that looking pretty strong as well less clear on the upside targets US nat gas actually looking quite interesting breaking above the cloud on the short term chart and medium term we're just um, coming through on on the, the chart there as well so we're sitting at $2.96 at the moment it does look like we will break this $3 mark and maybe start to see a, an improvement in the trend uh, take going straight to gold gold fell uh, pretty sharply yesterday uh, when we are just seeing this June sell-off so really taking this bearish um, medium term the long-term chart is still just holding up so uh, be interesting to see and of course on this point and figure chart we are just pulling back to find support on the 1% chart so uh, we do have a, a medium term downside target hanging over us um, but it is still looking like a basing pattern um, for the moment looking at silver um, also just struggling a little bit short term uh, below the cloud still bearish there 
um, not as clear as gold on t in terms of the break to the upside. US 10-year yields falling away quite significantly, and we're sitting at 2.85% uh, there on the 10-year. Uh, Apple uh, yesterday recovered, having had a, a really bad day the day before. Uh, we're up over 1% last night, but we're still bearish on that short-term chart. And so that's quite key. And Amazon, of course, had a, a, a sell off the day before, recovered half of that move yesterday, but still very short term. Google, which we have had quite significant concern, concerns about um, just lagging the other tech stocks and not managing to make new highs, uh, back to short term bearish. Facebook struggled to hold the $200 mark, and uh, it's, but we are still bullish on all three time frames. One of the best looking tech stocks still in terms of the charts. And Microsoft holding on but back below the hundred dollar mark and um, just really um, the long and medium term trends look great but the short term trend is now bearish that's it for today until tomorrow happy charting see you then